I have mentioned in one of my most recent posts, new removable hard drives are coming, and this is it folks, the first of three has arrived. I can't wait for the next day, so I am filming an unboxing episode in the very late hour of the night. I don't have a good lighting for the purpose, so I have to apply the adjustment later on the editing phase of this video. Welcome to another Experience Unboxing Episode 101. This time I purchased a solid state drive, a Samsung Portable SSD T5. It came on a tiny packing box. As I expected, this hardware is really small and highly portable. With a capacity of 500GB, it can be used for systems either running Windows or Mac or even Android. The box banners its best selling or marketing features for the user consumer. The SSD drive features sleek and solid look with compact and lightweight aluminum exterior. Its size is so small, should be convenient to grasp on your palm. Hence, it is also lightweight at 51 grams. It is bundled with a shock-resistant structure that could withstand falls from up to 2 meters. The shock-resistant feature is nice to know, but I don't have to test it if it really can withstand that fall or shock. I don't want to risk files and data that I may save on the drive very soon. In fact, I store and take care of my removable drives and so careful enough at not banging or causing them to drop on the floor from my work table. I keep my portable drives in a safe place when not in use which proved practical and efficient. Proof of that, my portable drives are still working and usable up to now and still holding gigabytes and gigabytes of data all these years and have gone above and beyond the manufacturer's warranty already. It gives me also a good feeling and confidence that I can retrieve my data and file anytime the need comes up. The T5 is paired with two USB-C connecting cords about 18 inches. One supports USB-C and another supports USB-A for computers. It offers an optional password protection at 256-bit hardware encryption, which functions I may not even use at all. Although it says it has a capacity of 500 gigabytes, the actual space available for data is for 65 gigabytes only since it came with installed programs for Windows, Mac, and Android. So to gain back lost space, I will need to delete the installed files for Mac and Android as I am using only the Windows 10 system. The back says the drive can handle up to 500 40 megabytes per second transfer speed. Does it mean maximum or is it the limit of transfer speed per second using the supplied 3.1 generation 2 at 10 gigabits per second USB connection? It remains to be proven as I will perform a test later. This new SSD will be assigned a permanent drive letter as with my other portable disk drives. This Samsung drive will be devoted fully for temporary data storage only for raw files of current video authoring projects like raw video footage etc. And once the project is finished, the raw files will be deleted to give way for upcoming projects. I already mentioned in previous posts that I back up my original raw and other files on separate removable drives. This early, I feel comfortable that using a portable SSD drive can make my video authoring task easier. My computer hard drive will be maximized to run only the video authoring system as the raw files will be sourced from and the rendering will be performed and saved on the SSD drive. My Lenovo notebook has one input for USB-C at the back of the unit good enough for the supplied USB cord with a Samsung T5. Meanwhile, I can use the supplied USB-A input cord when working on my HP desktop, so convenient for me. Now I will test the data transfer speed and check if what the box says is right or close to its specifications. First, I copied a huge file from my computer to the Samsung SSD drive. Next, I copied the same file from the Samsung drive to the computer hard drive. Now I can closely compare the data transfer speed and result in real time. And for comparison and easy reference of actual data transfer speed, I place the video side by side. Oh by the way, I was not satisfied with one speed transfer test. I made several tests which I included on this post also.
it is clear now that transfer speed may reach up to the limit of or maximum of 540 megabytes or even beyond. But check out my tests and results to see is to believe. All I want to prove here that different factors may have contributed to the transfer speed and results. And since this is not comprehensive, I rest my case as I know there are more tests made out there or whatever benchmark was or were used to test and challenge drive capabilities. And if I get the satisfaction in ease and comfort of use with my first removable solid state Samsung drive, will I ever get another? Perhaps. Appreciate your watching this post. If you haven't subscribed yet, now is the time to subscribe to this channel and click the bell so you get notification for new posts. Thanks for watching and see you next time.